It was their first night on the job at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, and so far, it hadn't been so bad. I've gotta be honest though, it smells pretty awful in here. Stupid camera is glitching. Well, it wasn't awful. Sit in the back of this pizzeria overnight and then head home. All things considered, it was a pretty easy gig. I do wonder though, why do they need such high security for a kid's restaurant? Seems like a joke to me. However, upon reaching the security office, they discover that things aren't as they seem at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Chica glares at the guard through the window on the right, but eventually she leaves. Shaken, but writing it off as some sort of weird malfunction, the guard goes to check the cameras, and for perhaps the first time in FNAF VHS history, all three animatronics appear to be on the stage, acting normally. For once, everything was fine in the security office of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Why are the cameras glitching? Don't tell me the power shut off. In the parts and service room, we see Golden Freddy staring at the security guard, now stuffed into a robotic suit. Suddenly, Chica enters the room. Chica is upset with Golden Freddy for murdering this innocent person. This also explains why Chica stared at them so long before leaving them alone. She was checking to see if it was Afton. Once she determined it wasn't, she left. With the souls of both Evan and Cassidy residing within Golden Freddy, their behavior has become erratic. <laughs> Cassidy seeks vengeance on Afton, but Evan, or the crying child, just wants help. He just wants to rest. I just covered Magic's excellent Fazbear archive series, so when this tape dropped mere days later, I knew it was too awesome to not include here. Go check it out. Last time on Spectre's series, a paranormal investigator did a walkthrough of the Freddy Fazbear location, making contact with some of the spirits trapped within the animatronics. Who murdered you? Bunny. Bunny? <laughs> you were murdered by a bunny? However, things quickly went awry. Get out. What the? Holy shit! Upon fleeing the pizzeria, the investigator is blasted by an off-screen shotgun, and the camera falls to the floor. The investigator would never be seen again. Shortly after this, Spectre would drop Police Investigation, his most ambitious tape yet. Spanning over a half hour, this tape is one of the coolest FNAF VHS videos ever released. Unfortunately, just a day or so later, Spectre's channel was hacked by Elon Musk. Thankfully, they were eventually able to recover the account, no thanks to YouTube, but this kind of thing is obviously really traumatic and has some impact on Spectre's channel within the algorithm, so please go show him some support. Before we jump into Spectre's next tape though, this video is sponsored by Raycon. It's 2023 and everybody needs a pair of earbuds. With over 50,000 five-star reviews, Raycon delivers premium audio that you can afford. Seriously, you could buy a pair of these for less than the cost of one of the other guys. The bad guys. I started doing YouTube a little over a year ago, and I quickly found myself wearing earbuds and headphones all the time. I had what I thought was decent brand name gear, but I found that after a 12 hour editing session, my ears would hurt from having the cans on for so long. The Raycon Everyday Earbuds are legitimately the most comfortable ones I've ever used. In fact, I did the entire first pass edit of this video wearing them, and even after 8 hours, I felt fine. Featuring three customizable sound profiles, earbud tap functions, 
functions, noise isolation, awareness mode, and custom gel tips for that awesome, comfortable in-ear fit. Ready to buy something small with a big impact? Click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash theftking to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Thanks so much to Raycon for sponsoring this video. A police officer moves through an abandoned mall in the dead of night. Moments earlier, he'd seen his partner shot during a routine traffic stop before. Three for 10, officer down, down. shots fired. Don't, Don't move, show me your hands, now! Drop your hands, hands and step, step out of the, the truck. truck. You, you deaf motherfucker! I, I said! said. <laughs> the end goal of the Theft King channel is to find the cutest puppy and kitten in the world. I've been searching for a while and I have a few good contenders, but I can't be certain, so send videos of your puppies, kittens, or any pet really to puppiesandkittens at theftking.com and I'll try to feature them in upcoming videos. But you have to subscribe unless you hate puppies and kittens. I actually had a problem with my pet cat recently, but I took care of it. Having abandoned the truck and fled on foot, they couldn't have gotten far, and the officer gives chase. This must be where they broke in. Or at least where someone broke in. Wandering through the facility, they're astounded to find that some of the lights are on. No way! <sighs> How is there still power in this place? The officer heads to the second floor when suddenly he hears a noise. <gasps> Wait. How long until the rest show up? From where we are, it'll take him at least five to ten minutes, but they don't even know we're here, so we've got time. What if they check here first? Will you quit your bitching and hand me the pliers? He catches sight of the suspect stealing copper wire and other materials from the abandoned building. Ah, I see. They're scrappers. I wonder what they need all that for, though. Hmm, whatever could they be making with all that metal and wire? This is a neat detail. We can see that even on the run, Afton is able to build and maintain the animatronics by stealing materials from the infrastructure of abandoned buildings. Also, Afton's voice actor, Joder Love, really kills it. Where's your robot? You know, I'm almost tempted to leave that useless piece of shit here. They do one of my favorite Afton voices, and if you watch a lot of FNAF VHS, you'll hear them everywhere. You had something you weren't supposed to have. Okay, I got it. Open the bag. Carelessly, the officer steps on a piece of glass, alerting the suspects to his presence. I heard that! Who's there? Hey! Who's that? Oh, it. MCPD! Hands up! Now! How the f After a brief shootout, the two flee, but when the officer goes to confront them... You guys think this is a f***ing game? Come out with your hands up! Now! What the hell? Holy shit! The officer slams the door shut behind him, and thankfully, the animatronics can't open doors, so he's safe. Oh, yeah, never mind, they can totally open doors. Now cornered, the officer can do nothing but look on in horror as Foxy searches for him. Ah. 
I gotta get back up here now. Desperate for backup, they search the building's back offices for a phone. They find one and they're able to reach dispatch, but suddenly... Chris! What? He's still alive! He got to one of the phones! All right, we've only got three more spots after this. We better hit those quick. Where's your robot? I don't know. Try to call it back. You know, I'm almost tempted to leave that useless piece of shit here. We can't let the cops find it. It's got to come with us. <sighs> don't make me regret this. Come on, we're on the clock. The officer moves to follow Afton and his accomplice when... There he is. Oh, shit. I've been made. Ah! Fuck! How you like that, you coward? Let's see you run. Injured by a few shots from Afton's machine pistol, the officer can't escape Foxy, and while he fires off a few rounds, they don't prove very effective. Cornered and on the ground, at the very last moment, the officer pulls out their taser, which disables the animatronic. <sighs> Didn't think that would actually work. As they stand, a fleet of helicopters and police vehicles arrive at the complex. His backup is finally here. About time. Limping down the escalator to the first floor of the mall, the officer encounters their colleagues, and together they go to apprehend the suspects. Bravo, Charlie, sweep this building. Let's smoke these guys out. The rest of you are on me. Let's move! Whoever this cop is, they're pretty badass, considering they were just shot, like, a few minutes ago. Soon after, the police encounter Chris, Afton's accomplice. There he is! Hands up! All you do is got eyes on. Let me see your hands! Drop the gun! Drop the gun and put your hands up! Drop the gun and show us your hands! Alpha 1, out copy. Put his down! The assistant's on the second floor! He's dead! Threat neutralized! After taking out Chris, the police turn their attention to Afton when... Any idea where his friend might be? I think that answers your question. Fallen! On me! Hey! Open the door! Police department, come out with your hands up! I can't! The door's stuck! I can't open it! Hands up now! Take the wall on your knees! What's your name? Identify yourself! Henry. Henry Emily. Henry Emily, the co-founder, Afton's former partner.